series, but Argentina second overall. Great Britain tenth. And that is an indication of how they've been travelling so far this season. AJ Jacobs gets us started. It'll be Argentina right to left. It'll be Jochen Pellandini who goes over to the far side. And we can go sideline now straight away to speak to Sean Lamont, the assistant coach. You're standing by to have a quick chat to us. Sean, you had a good day so far. Two yeah. wins. What's the plan here to beat Argentina, Sean? Uh, obviously, with sevens, the key is ball retention. We need to make sure we source of breakdowns. Um, Argentina are obviously flying at the moment. So, and we, we beat them the last few times we faced them, but that doesn't mean anything in the day. So we're just going to be squeaky clean and, and let's say look after Pill. You had to work hard for your wins so far. Close run thing against Japan, tested by Ireland as well. Is that a good thing going into the game like this to have had to work so hard for your wins? Definitely, I think it's a different. A, a wake up call. The one against Japan, we, we got through on the, on the skin of our teeth. Um, Japan have been absolutely great so far. Uh, just on the wrong side of the results, unfortunately, they, they pushed Ireland close. Um, but it just sums up the, the sevens tournament as it is. Like at the moment, the tournament is so so tight. I think there's a, ten teams that are uh, regularly getting into that, that top eight position, but obviously there's only eight eight make it. So there's always a good two teams that never quite make that cup draw. So seven to play for today. Absolutely. Well, Sean, we thank you again for your time. Great Good to get us. that insight. And we'll let you get back to this one. As Argentina have their first opportunity on attack. That's the captain, Matias Osadzu. Flicked out by Pellandini. Still alive. Came off Barreto. Here's Marcos Moneta. So dangerous. So quick. So tough to handle. That looked forward to... Good shot, Gonzalez is, so we can go back, and it's an opportunity for us to bring in Dan Norton. Dan, what have you made of the opening exchanges here? Yeah, I'm, I'm still buzzing off that Japan game, to be honest. What a way to finish the game there for them. They've worked so hard to get that position, but we have here now Great Britain against Argentina, and it's going to be a nice arm wrestle. We've got two teams who both won both games, and now it's about seeing who tops the group. The pleasure of winning the group, they get to have a crossover with either South Africa or Australia or New Zealand, so that's a nice three-way tie there. But this is all about getting momentum into the game, into uh, day two tomorrow. Coach. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Find. chances are New Zealand will win that group. Set. So you probably you'd avoid the series leaders if possible as Pellandini sees some space down the short side. Schultz is there to make sure they win possession. Here's Gonzalez. Bavandra just gets shrugged off by Gonzalez. He's so strong, the Argentina number 11. And they've got an opportunity here. Osadzuk will burst over for Argentina. Finished by the captain, but yet again, it's Lucho Gonzalez who gets to go for it. Every time you play against Argentina, you know that they're bringing that physicality. So as you're seeing here, Abby getting thrown around like a little rag doll. But he's both two big men that are colliding and just keeping the ball there and working it to the whip and just running out of numbers and scoring the try in the corner. Yeah, that's his third try this weekend. Gonzalez. Okay, 3.20 to go this first half. Argentina, unconverted try, lead 5-0. That was Matias Osadzic's 99th try on the series, so he's poised to break through the 100 barrier. Here's Freddie Roddick, Englishman. Long ball over the top to Tom Williams, Welshman. Roddick gets away from trouble. Here's Ross McCann, Scotsman, over the top to Api Bavandra. He might want to make up for that moment before when Gonzalez threw him to the deck. Moneta does well, actually, on a much bigger man. Bavandra came up with a brilliant final play to beat Japan earlier today off the restart. Morgan Williams shovels it to his Welsh buddy Tom, and Tom's off to the races. That was nicely worked. 
Tom Williams for Great Britain. Streaks away, and they level this one up. The conversion will be the go-ahead score. Lovely way there to get the score and leave the post there. Great offload there. Great offload there to give the ball to the Tom Williams on the end. He's been hungry all weekend. A couple of important tries last weekend in Hong Kong, and he's on form. But again, the ability for Great Britain there to just hold on to the ball. They got stuck a bit in the middle, but then playing to the whips and playing to the 15s is where they're going to find success by being able to get people around that breakdown to then keep the ball, move it to the other end, and being able to get the score in the end. Is what is integral for these guys when they're playing against this real nuggety, solid team of Argentina in the middle. Yeah, he seems to have really improved his game in the last couple of tournaments, Tom Williams. They all have, really, to be fair. Really tricky start. They only won two games in Hong Kong in the series opener in November last year. Since then, they just seem to have improved all the time. And But they're still mid-table. They're going to have to go to a regional qualifier to make the Olympics, it looks like. But game on game, they seem to be getting better, Dan. Yeah, it's something that takes a bit of time. We spoke about it last week in Hong Kong, and they have some great success, but it takes time for the group. They've, they were new into the season. They were coming from three different nations, and they've got more time to bed in. They've got some quality players still staying in the team. A couple of injuries throughout the squad, but you're seeing the guys step up and, and then showing their worth as well, which is great to see. We might have another one here with a bit of football. Tom Williams is in again. We used to seeing that from Argentina. Got to knock on the way over. Gonzalez, they always hurt. Two tries, Williams. Two tries, GB. Yeah, nice way for them to go through there. Start with a quick tap and then moving the ball there to the side and just, just finding the space. Nice and easy and a simple dot down for Tom Williams in the corner. May have got a little injury there. But yeah, nice little score in the corner there. And again, he's red hot. Six foot three, had to go down a long way. Chip that forward for himself. Did well. Roddick looking to add the extra two doesn't remains 12-5 to Great Britain so they take the lead here just before half time born in Shrewsbury in England but very much a Welshman Ospreys was his uh, region down there yeah. three tries for the weekend scored an absolute cracker against Fiji in Hong Kong last weekend yeah it was it was awesome to see him charging down there with his long legs really important try and again it's just seeing the performance and the growth in the team it's, it's amazing to see for the whole series First one, second one. Okay, double knock on here. So we'll have a feed to the scrum for Great Britain. Chance here, 12 5, to add to the scoreline at half time. It's not only making it through the quarterfinals, isn't it? But, you know, avoid New Zealand, hopefully for them. I'd, I'd imagine they're thinking. But also, topping the group, just giving you that confidence, that energy going into finals there. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, it's a nice luxury to win those first two games. Obviously for GB, it was a very scrappy first game, win not on the buzzer. But to be in this position now with two games done, you know, you're, you're looking forward and you're, you're, you're seeing who you're eyeing up on the other side. And as you mentioned, potentially you want to try and dodge someone like New Zealand, who are the serious, serious leaders. But at the same time, you've got three, potentially three games tomorrow. And it doesn't matter if you're playing New Zealand, South Africa, you, you have to win that first game to get, into the, get a chance of winning the cup. Absolutely. Set. You don't win sevens tournaments and finals on day one, do you? But no, you do. Exactly. You can't lose them. Here's Roddick. So time's up on the clock. Clock's in the red. This is the final play of the first half. We'll work the short side here. Colleen Barreto, who's been handy today for Great Britain. Here's Jamie Barden. But Andrew just surveys his options. Now he... Sets off Happy Bavandra. Still going. Big unit. Tough to handle. Change of direction. Morgan Williams now. But he's put on the floor by Schultz. And now they're looking for the steal. Argentina. No told to let go. Bavandra again at scrum half. McCann long lofted pass over to Femi Sofalaran. Can he get some footwork going? Gets the ball away back to Bavandra. He tries to get the hands free but loses it. It's gone forward, but yeah, it's a knock on from GB first up, so that'll take us to <laughs> half time. And it was a good half for Great Britain. Conceded early, but hit back well with a couple of scores. Yeah. Yeah. Dan Norton alongside me. Impressed with Great Britain in that first half. Good advantage here for them. Yeah, they obviously were a score down first of all, but they worked hard to get back into the game. They're playing really smart, so they know that Argentina are, you go from one side, they're going to load up and they're going to come and tee you off. So you have to be able to be smart and they're playing to the middle and they're playing back to the blind side. And they're trying to move the point of attack, so that's really important. That's, that's the result of them scoring their second try there. 
Mazazi's out there for Argentina. The ball's gone over the sideline. It'll be a throw to the line out here for Los Pumas Sevens. There's a Sadzuk, he picked up a try in the first half. How have they got so good, this Argentina team? They're now one of the preeminent sides on the circuit, second ranked. They led the series last year, they won two gold medals this time around. What's Santi done with them to get them to those kind of levels? I think, they get, yeah, I think it's one of his, his secrets. He's been there for a while and now he's been working hard with his group. They've been together for a long time and I think that, that speaks volumes of just being able to understand each other and really craft out a, a style of play which is different to other teams. And They're a big, strong, physical team and they've started winning. So that breeds confidence and then from there they're just, they're just taking these strides forward and it's so good to see for the whole of the game. Yeah, they all believe in the project, that is for sure. Herman Schultz, one of their more senior players with a good carry there. The Sadzuk to Gonzalez. Still driving the legs. And they come the same way. Pelandini now. Play that on. ball's gone loose, but play on, says the referee. The Sadzuk has it. Almost someone hit the pause button there, it felt like. But now it opens up, does it, over on the far side for Herman Schultz. Big man gets down low to take the pass. Sets back towards his support. Jamie Barden with the defence. Here's Gonzalez, so dangerous from this kind of range. So strong. Lucho Gonzalez. Osadza, one more pass and Schultz will dive over untouched. That was Argentina all over. Physical, patient, professional, getting it done. Yeah. As you just said, their patience is key there for them. They're just working the GB team now, working from side to side and using their physicality to punch a little hole and every time it's hard for the player to get up off the ground and get back into the defensive set and then move forward. And for them, just keeping the ball in this humid week two tournament, for them, they were able to get the success there. So this is a really key try for them at the start of the second half. Yeah, Herman Schultz, 28 years of age, 60th World Series events. Played three tests for Argentina, 15 inside team as well. Back rower, as you expect. Number five, 12 number each, 424 four to go. Four. Extra two from right in front. So now we've got an interesting game on our hands. But I guess Great Britain have got the muscle memory, haven't they, already today? I've been in exactly these kind of situations where you've got to find a way. Yeah, they have. They, they so this is obviously a key, a key area for Argentina is to kick off in the set piece. They score most of their tries from these positions. GB haven't got the biggest, the biggest team out there, the tallest team. So this is the aerial battle is really important. They done really well there to keep the ball. But for them, it's about being able to be smart now and try and work the clock, clock down and get the score. Yeah, Morgan Williams there just running over the sideline under the attentions of Gonzalez. So if it remains a draw, there are draws in pool games, not a knockout game tomorrow, but Argentina would top the group going to the superior points difference over Great Britain. Lavagen throws the line out. Elizal. Graziano. Lavagen again to Osadzo. His opposite number nine Williams just allows Sofalaren to come in and make the tackle. Nope. Players taken without the ball there. Really now it's gone it. forward. GB is just going to play on his Sofalaren. Can they take advantage here and catch? Argentina in transition. Now we'll go back for the original no. knock on. Initiated contact. GB don't play off. off areas Number all that nine. much. They seem to stay quite, quite structured. A lot of teams will just go for it, go for it in transition trying to catch teams napping. They seem a little bit more circumspect than that, is that fair to say? Yeah, they, they are a team that's going to offload a lot. They're going to try and work you. They've got some good speed and power on the edges and Max Fahl and Famous Solar on. But at the same time, for them, it's about just being able to keep the keep the ball in play and keep working teams and grinding it down. They know they can launch off the set piece, off line outs. They know they can launch off scrums and that's an area that they, they've been trying to really um, perfect. Crouch. Bind. Sit. Ferguson. 
Feeds the scrum. There you go. The team losing the game at half time has ended up winning it the last three times between these two. So could be good news for GB. And this is definitely good news because Freddie Roddick has actually cleverly gone to ground on the halfway line so that Kelly could get there and play scrum half. And now they reload and go again. Will Homer's got big up Bavanjo with him. Homer, though, might not need him. Doesn't quite have the pace to get on the outside. Jamie Barden. Kelly, Paddy Kelly. Sandwiched in a tackle from Gonzalez and Lavagen. Ferguson almost falls over under the attentions of Monetta now. Injured player for Argentina. They've got six only in the defensive line. Here. Can GB try and take advantage of that? Ball's loose. Sofalaren's onto it. Homer, I think he's alert to that situation. Little double clutch to Ferguson. Ferguson inside. Tries to get the ball back to Homer. And here's Roddick again. He started it all. That ball's been knocked down by an Argentina player. So there'll be a penalty and perhaps a yellow card. And it will be. The Suds are the captain doesn't like it but he's off to the sin bin yeah great play going quick absolutely is Ferguson Kelly they got numbers to burn Great Britain Sofalaren's on the end of the line he should be able to run it in and he does so that is the go-ahead score for Great Britain 90 seconds to go and still plenty of time for Argentina to have to deal with the yellow card yeah GB scored eight tries last weekend in Hong Kong from quick taps alone so this just shows there that when there is opportunities, you're then playing against a broken defence and you've got opportunities of actually picking people off. So, yes, a little bit of a, a lucky in the tackle there, but that's definitely a yellow card. But the quick tap, early pass, shift to the space nice and easy, and then a little walking there for Femi on the edge. So I'm A.A.B. happy with that. Dots are down in the corner, lovely, beautiful try. Yeah, and just taking advantage of that power play, as you say immediately they're gonna have another minute here a lot of times off now conversion didn't make it five points the difference i love that conversion to go over and make it a, a maximum score but lava going to come to the sideline for argentina yeah so, so the sub the sub right. there comes on and stops the clock there obviously with the injured player coming off so now you've got 54 seconds a power play again as well so now it's about for, for argentina they're thinking about how can we keep the ball here and how can we get to the other end of the of the uh, the pitch how can we score and gb are thinking about how can we wind this one down how can we get ourselves through into day two okay, the so, score has brought on gaston revol in the number eight shirt Back in the sweeper position at the moment. So what will Robbie Ferguson do here? Okay, predict this for us, Dan. Where's this one going? So you've got a couple of options across the line. They probably go to an edge here, up to the five or the four, as they call it. Went trying to win the ball in the air with um, Paddy Kelly there, and then obviously keeping the ball. And it's worked out for them. I'm not sure that was exactly the way it was meant to happen, but it, it worked out. They got the ball, and that's everything. When you've got a five-point lead, Homer over the top. Bavandra checks off his left foot, runs into contact, and drives through looking to seal the deal here gb ferguson flings it across you gotta watch out though you gotta watch out because marcos moneta picks cherries off trees wow 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 that is big wow opportunity to the on the edge for gb but she ran over and then not, um, not able to get the pass away Despair for Great Britain and that's elation for Argentina there. Oh, Ferguson with the long ball. But Marcos Minister, we've seen this time and time again. He reads the game so well. There's the extra two to win the game. The boy wonder once again shows up when it matters for Los Pumas Sevens. Oh, he's all glamour this guy. 1917 Argentina beat Great Britain.